Absolutely. We are further enhancing our product to the market and we embarked on a choice and control philosophy whereby our customer takes care of his own destiny and takes care of his own choices, what he wants to buy, when he wants to buy it, how he wants to buy it, and make sure that the customer choice is a central part of his journey. I think in Africa, the there are significant challenges um, specifically around infrastructure. In the internet penetration in Africa is very, very low. Uh, credit and debit card usage is also very, very low. Um, but like any dynamic market, there's the ways in which you can sort of circumvent those challenges. So for, in, for example, we've introduced a way in which people can pay for their seats on, on FastJet by paying through their mobile phone accounts. Uh, and that now equates to over 30% of our revenue stream uh, coming in through people using mobile phones to, uh, to pay for their seats. So um, you have to develop, you certainly can't go into Africa with a very rigid low cost model because that simply wouldn't work. Well I think in this business, and a lot of Ireland I think get lost from this, you've got to find out what the customer wants. I think in the case of certainly in Ryanair when I was working, um, the customers want access and they want low fares. Uh, I think that's the prerequisite. There's lots of other things added on as frills and so-called frills, uh, but that's not what they need. What they want is a low fare uh, and to get to the destination on time uh, with modern aircraft. And I think the, the company actually provides that. And um, I believe that low fares will always win out. At the stage where we are right now, uh, probably the sales solutions are uh, examined to the maximum. Um, the new opportunity lies probably in uh, wireless um, access to booking engines and uh, payment solutions. Uh, but definitely uh, what might expect, what market might expect is uh, that uh, the flexibility which is given uh, will probably cost less money and that might be uh, in the future some kind of uh, eventual opportunity for the customers to do the same but for uh, less money.